Welcome back everyone to Pine Leaf Plays the Runekeeper. And here I am with Glorfindel near a waterfall. And let's see what he has to say. What can I do for you? You're welcome to Imlandris, Finestone. These are times of trouble, but for now at least, the curtain of shadow is held back and we meet in peace. You bring grievous tidings from Eladon, but they are not entirely unlooked for. I feared that not all of the Nazgul were claimed by the Bruinen. They stray, this stray servant of the enemy will leave a mark on the wilderness. He may have already done so, and we can use it to track him. I give you my barrel, and ask you to hold it aloft at the ford of Bruinen. Return it to me once you have done so, so that we may speak further. Alright, so. We'll see what secrets this barrel has. That means getting back to the stable master, and I doubt much exciting will happen there, so we'll take a little pause. Welcome back. I went to the stable master in Rivendell, then I took the slow run to Thornhad. The idea is there that when I pass the river I can dismount and use the barrel. And that's one of the things you can do to make things a little bit easier. It's a ton of travel as it is so even though I do have access to swift travel, there are plenty of times when the slow travel route is the better way of doing it. So now I can get off here. And here I'm at the ford. And hold up the barrel of Glorfindel and it glows with a pale light. Now I need to report this back to Glorfindel. Yes, all the way back and I'm in the middle of nowhere. Now you would think that with an important ford like this, a town would be built on top. I mean, a trading post of some sort. But there are absolutely no ruins at this location. I mean, unless there have been enough floods to wash away the ruins or something like this, but it's hard to believe that no one has ever built so much as a village at this location. And when you imagine how, and when you find that Thorn Hat, like Thorn Hat is stuck there up off the road far away with bears all over the place. Yes, I know there's the idea of defense. Okay, so it could have been a defensive structure, so therefore to defend a hill which overlooked the road. So perhaps that's the reason. But there would still be villages having been built there, and I'm wondering, has there been enough time to wash away every trace of any village that may have ever been built? I don't know, but it looks like that's what must have happened because I don't see a single trace of any ruins all around here. Now, I suppose if they're all wooden structures or if the trolls stole the stones or anything like that, that's a possibility. But, I don't see any signs of any ruins that I would have expected. Now, to get the back of Glorfindel, I am using my port. I saved my port from last time when I was preparing to start the episode. I was in Bree at the auction house. And I had decided that I would take the stable route there rather than the port so that I would have it ready just for this quest because I knew I would be needing it. All right, and here we go all the way across and Orphandale is some is up here. All right.
right. Here's your bur barrel at Glowed... What do you need? You have returned, Pinestone. Did you notice any change in the barrel I gave you when you arrived at the fort? Uh, yeah, it glowed pale when I was there. The barrel began to glow. That is why I expected. And I am glad it was so, for it shall be our means of locating the Nazgul that remains hidden within the wilderness. The nine servants of the enemy and shadows beneath the great shadow are creatures of such evil that the land cannot bear their presence. The barrel will glow in places where they have been. It will allow us to follow the missing rider's trail. Gookie? Might you spare a moment of your time? I do not often travel into the wild, though I will do so when it needs great when the need is great, as the ranger Aragorn or his small friend Frodo Baggins will tell you. The sons of Elrond are better suited for directing your search for the missing Nazgul. I have my barrel in your I leave my barrel in your care for the time being, and ask you to return with it to Eladon at the camp in Thornhod. Yep, back to Thornhod. He will know where you should bring it to follow the traces of the Nazgul. Go with speed and with clarity of vision. The barrel will help you find the stray servant of the enemy. But what will you do when you find him? I wonder. Well, I imagine that I will cower and slink away because what am I going to do next to a Nazgul? They're not exactly easy enemies to fight. Well, I will return. This time I will go all the way to Thornhod. And we'll take a little break until then. We're back. And let's see what Heladon has to say. The words of Glor Glorfindel are most wise, and this gift, and his gift of this barrel brings me hope that we may be able to regain the trail of this missing Nazgul. You have my thanks, Pinestone, but now I must determine where we are to bring the barrel in order to reveal the Nazgul's location. Mind my words, Traveller. I have given some thought of our riddle, and while I do not know if this is the answer, my heart tells me that we must exhaust this course before we can be sure it is fruitless. Many caves dot the wilderness of, of the Trollshalls, home of the creatures that give this place the name. The missing Nazgul suffered some grievous hurt when caught between the fires of Glorfindel and the ranger Aragorn and the waters of the Bruinen and he must have escaped to some secluded corner of the wild to regain his strength. I believe he fled to one of the troll caves. I will write down the names and locations of three caves, descend into the deepest chamber of each, and hold Glorfindel's barrel aloft. We must learn if the Nazgul hid within one of these caves in order to pick up the trail. Bring allies to these caves, for the trolls that lurk within these are dangerous. Here are this here are my notes, Pinestone, and here we're to use the shimmering elf stone to allow me access. Now if you recall earlier when I was doing the ones the quests involving the bird that was attacked. We went into one of those three caves, and that's the nearest one of the three, so we will head in there right away. And I know that it's still an elite quest, unlike the last one where we really didn't need the Inspiration Stone in order to find the bridle. Now, though, we know that these are still elite trolls, since all you have to do for the landscape during the landscape quest is to go in there and say, ah, yeah, they're big trolls. Let's get out. And since that was the entire idea, they could leave them as elites. Uh, I have no idea why the Spying Hendrival has a quest ring on its head. 
because as far as I know, you can't attack it. And I strongly doubt that he has a quest for me if I talk to him. Yeah. So, I guess it's just that any Hingeville right now has a quest ring on it for some sort of daily quest. But we're not going to worry about that. What we're going to worry about is this troll here. Or the troll cave, more precisely. And... Strength swells in my chest, which means I need to use this. Very well, let my morale get up. I'll give it a little boost there. But now I'm strong enough to... Now here it says... See, so you have to invoke it right at the entrance. You can't invoke it well... After it's I... I presume that to avoid abuse. So that someone doesn't go around farming the entire cave or something. I don't know. I wish that there was another way of handling the quest. I don't know why they did leave them, because if it's only being used for the epic... Okay, okay, it is also being used as a place to say, uh, it's too dangerous here, so I guess it does still serve a serve, serve purpose that way. So I think that is a relatively new quest there. That was one of the revamped quests, so they didn't have to write that quest that way. But I presume they wanted to remind us that, yes, the troll shawls are still pretty dangerous. So they wanted to leave some elites here, even outside of the northern areas, which are designed as elite quest areas for groups. So I'm not completely sure what purpose this will serve. I would think, though, that having a group arc open up, perhaps, f for these caves or something like that would have been a good idea, because having these three caves only for the epic it makes me wonder, oh, why bother? If there aren't any group quests here, then why bother making it elite? Anyway, I have to get all the way through here to the end. And then I have to get back out afterwards because this is, I think it's up here. Oops. Hello! You're big, aren't you? Alright, now. That is not the way I needed to go. But anyway. Trouble with Inspiration Bones is I feel it's... In order to make it strong enough to be useful to everyone, it I think it's a little bit overpowered. It's very hard to balance something like that. So, I would say normals with a few sigs thrown in perhaps might have been a better idea. Oh, okay, I've reached the deepest chamber. But I'm sure there are some people who like having their groups go through such a place to go and clear out as a group. In that case, I, I mean without the inspiration bonus. Right. I thought I got a message somewhere in here that I was in the deepest parts. You leave the deepest parts, fine. You have reached the deepest parts. Oh, that's... Oh, no wonder. That's, that's that's the inspiration stone. This is the barrel. I really think they should put the barrel up there instead of the inspiration stone. 
Okay, I hold it aloft, it remains dark. Since I consider that to be ten times more important than the Inspiration Stone, at least when you get to the deepest chamber. Okay, when you're inside and you need to use the Inspiration Stone in order to get your jump start, fine. But once you're in there and deep inside, and you get that message, I would say it should switch over to the barrel. Because it's very misleading, because it's, they're both stones. And that's another argument of not having inspiration involved in this quest. Is it due to that misleading way of showing the stuff? And now we're out of here, and... We are done. Strength swells in my chest. Well, yeah, I've already used it. And that is done for there. So we'll take care of those. Well, yeah, I've already taken care of that. So now I have to do that to the other two caves. And those are going to be the real fun ones to find. Because that's the easiest of the three to find, and of course, since you were there earlier with the one with the birdie, you've been there before if you've gone to the troll shawls, or if you're managed to get to this point right when you do those that quest line with the birds, then you'll be shown there right. You know, you'll be shown there naturally. <coughs> Right, so he's going to expect me to get the other two. But those are the t two caves that are harder to find and more challenging. And there's no way I am going to get through all three of these because when the inspired ex when the inspiration expires, it puts a debuff on me that keeps me from going doing inspiration again. So I usually can only get through two of those at one time. So what I am going to do... What do you need? is that I am going to go to Barachin's camp and I think that will be the perfect place to use as a base for the other two stones because you can see that Let's see they're both up There's a stable master up there at the North Troll Shawls. How can I be of service? North Troll Shawls, swift travel. How interesting. Now that is, of course, designed for group quests, and I think there are all sorts of elites all in this area. And I know that getting to these two locations usually means... Actually, I think I came pretty close here. Did I see those elites there or not? I, they might have toned that out, the outside there a little bit. That area, I think, hasn't been toned down. I think you still got all those elite spiders there in the area because that's a major questing group questing area. But we'll find that out next time on A. Can I get both of these done in that 15 minutes? And B, can I tag this stable master or is the stuff going to be just too nasty for me to try it? But that will be answered in our next episode of Pineleaf Plays, The Runekeeper.